Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Episode? That I said that weird. Oh well. Of the Terraria Master Mode. I kinda in the last episode basically was just trying to fight Wyverns and having it not go well. But off camera well, sort of off camera, I have it recorded. I, I took on some more wyverns and successfully beat them. So uh, here's that real quick. Alright, so I didn't, I also didn't mention it just a moment ago before the little uh, wyvern fight there. Uh, I did also go back over to the crimson biome on the right side here. I broke a couple more of the altars and I believe it was mithril and adamantite that the world also got alongside the, I believe it was cobalt that we'd gotten previously, earlier, at whatever point we did. Uh, I also, at some point, accidentally spilled water down here, knocking out most of my torches. Because, you know, that's, that's usually the luck I have, just knock out all of my light sources. But, you know, it is what it is. So we do have 
think this one's the mithril. Yeah, that's the mithril because the cobalt is blue. Uh, and I'm going to take the red. So, at some point here before too long, I'm going to need to do a bunch of mining to try and get more of the, uh, more ore? Yeah, no, yeah, just more ore. Um, I'm not really sure the best way to go about it, especially since now we have the hollow biome apparently nice and right here underneath us, as it usually tends to go for me. Get the biomes right where they're the most inconvenient. That's usually what my luck is. Oh, yep, so there's some anime and tight. Can't mind that either with our current pickaxe. Uh, so the hope is to just straight up get the cobalt as soon as possible. Uh, my goal, once I get some cobalt, will... Well, not goal. What I'll do once I get some cobalt is I will go with making a pickaxe first. Actually, thinking about it, are we able to just use silk to do it that way? Does that, does that work? I don't think that, that works, but it might. So I'm going to also pick up some silk. Yeah, so my my goal will be to take and go with uh, getting the cobalt pick and then upgrading to mithril pick, and then to adamantite pretty much as fast as I can. That is what my goal is for it. But just because that's my goal doesn't mean that it's going to work that way. And uh, we also need to kill this guy and his friend that has decided to come in. So there is that as well. You know what? You spawn up there. Kill them. Stay there, kill them. No, kill both of these two. Kill these two. Please, please my imp. My imp, please. Oh, wait. Duh. You can do that. And then I can kill them. Big brain. Oh, 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 oh. Kill you first. Kill you first. Kill you first. So you're gonna kill you first. Oh, he made him run away. Oh, well, it's not a problem. Yeah. Perfect. Stand right there, Chaos Elementals. And she she be so crazily nice to drop me a rod of Discord immediately? That would be, like, awesome. No, no such luck. Not a shocker. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a rod of Discord yet. I just know that that's how you get them, is from them. But if it finally, whenever it finally happens, it'll be nice. It will be nice indeed whenever it finally happens. Unfortunately, I just don't know when said finally. Oh, no, we've been on that track. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. At the very least, we've been across the path that it goes. Hey, guy, come back over here. Please, please. Okay, maybe not. Maybe. Ah, no, ah, goddamn skeleton, god, ah. I saw him too. By the time, oh, die, die real quick and show me rod of discord. Come on, die real quick and show me a rod of discord. Come on. Oh, he stopped burning. How how nuts would that have been though? Had he died and dropped a rod of discord because lava. <laughs> that would have been really nice. Would have been hilarious. Unfortunately, I know my luck's not quite that good. Proof is that I came down here and immediately got slapped by a possessed armor. Darn jerk. Alright, let's head back up. Let's see. So I don't think using the silt works to get the adamantite and stuff, but it might since we're in hard mode now. But it doesn't look like it's going to, which is fine with me. Alright, and Uh, I also did work on flattening a little bit of an area here because I was gonna go ahead and make another little farm where I can kind of farm up pixies to get the megaphone because uh, the wings that I'm gonna go with are just gonna be the I think it's the fairy wings 
Yeah, the, I believe they're called the fairy wings because they're they're nice and fairly simple to me. And at least for me, I'm not gonna be super picky on how how good the flight of them is until much later on. But by that point, it'll be far enough along that it really doesn't matter anymore. So the current goal. Oh, one. Well, just uh, pick up that gravestone. So I don't really have a good way of solving this part because the way that I'm currently doing it is just a two block wall, but they can just go here. So I don't really have any way of stopping them if they're if they come from the underground route, which is just more of a nuisance than anything else. But for now, let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and recover this back up. I'm not gonna be too concerned by it by it doing the blocking of what I or looking weird or anything. Not gonna care too much. Cause it doesn't really work for what I wanted it to, so might as well just break it all and start over. Cause why not? Which I guess a real start over would have me taking and probably actually hammering all of the dirt to be correct as well. To which, actually, I might be able to just simply go back up top and fix it that way. Like, literally just go from up, to, go up top and just correct a few of them and that might actually just fix all of them. Because of the way that it works. But I'm not 100% sure. But, oh well. So, yeah, the plan is pretty much to get, like, an actual platform, just, like, here. And then I'll just kind of sit here with, uh... Oh, wait. Actually, no. We would need the platform here. Because then I can just stand right here with that in there. And they will all just kind of come to me and die. That is the current actual plan. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this all fixed so that that works. And by that I mean I'm just gonna pop over here, get my hammer out. Nope, darn fairies. You'd think I'd be prepared for them being in this area, but no, 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 fairies, pixies, whatever, oh, get out, get out, and that actually should mean that there's now enough pixie dust for me to make full my, yeah, perfect, we can make pixie wings now, so we can have some flight for ourselves, which will be very nice, no, yes, we'll go left, no more left, let me shoot you guys while you're over here, Go over there. Go over there. Yes, perfect. Perfect. This, work, this works simply because I can just shoot through them. Ooh, and also we have a banner, which we can just set right there. And I'm not too concerned about the backing of that wall, because it's not really going to be a problem. Hopefully. Because I'll have, to, I'll have to break the dirt wall eventually anyway, so when I do that, I'll just literally like break all of the wall. So even if I were to put something behind it right now, it would just kind of be useless. Considering I'd just break it whenever I go to put the actual wall in. And I don't really have any good way of dealing with this right side, so I just said, let's not. Let's just not deal with it. And that's my way of dealing with the right side. Uh, let's go back under now. So we can just do what I was saying with the wall. So with the wall, I literally mean that I will just come in with a nice good old foam hammer and uh, break all of it. And I'm not too concerned at about the light levels right now because they really don't matter when you're breaking a bunch of walls that you're gonna replace with a different type of wall. But that is currently the plan is just to break walls, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the nice part with this is, as I'm just kind of down here breaking these walls, these guys will be trying to come at me and just uh, keep jumping in the lava, which is exactly what the uh, what the lava is there for, is for them to die in, so it's working exactly how I want it to. Alright, so let's go ahead, give me just a bunch of the pearl wood, that is probably way more than what I actually need, but eh, whatever. Just means that we've got plenty of walling to make it with. That's all it really means, so let's just wall it up. And we're just gonna have to keep on jumping as we have been here, because that's really the only way of doing this part jump repetitively or slide down the wall. And I just like to jump. Alright, so let's get light, light, light. Perfect. And I think we could also take and boop. Housing is suitable, so we can actually house people in here. But rather than just housing people in here, the way that I would do it, or the way that I'm gonna do it, is we're going to want that three I think I think by doing it like this we can then take let's go bench and chair now now we've got housing is suitable and housing is suitable so we actually have two different housing spots here where we can then essentially go bring the nurse Okay, maybe he's dead at the moment. He is not here at all. Yep, he's not there at all. Normally you would also bring in the arms dealer, but for some reason he's just not showing up here, so I can't bring him in at the moment. I don't really have an actual way of dealing with the unicorns just running and jumping over the entire lava pit. But apparently I've got the lava pit at that correct level for stopping them from jumping out, which is good to know. That was the part that I definitely wasn't sure on. But now I know that uh, approximately 10, I think, because we kind of got 1, 2, 3-ish, 4-ish, 5-ish, 6-ish, 7, 8, 9? 9 maybe? Maybe it's 9. Ooh. I didn't even, I registered that we'd gotten this, but I didn't realize that I got it. We've also got the clock here, so that helps out with, uh, I think it's used in something with the, uh, the Ankh shield as well, so that is helpful. You know, it looks like the demon eyes do find their way in as well, which will also mean that the wandering eyes will, because the wandering eyes are just a bigger variant of the demon of the demon eyes but are more alike to the eye of cthulhu with how they uh s split open yes that's the word ow stupid race there we go so that's the other thing that i still don't have an actual way of dealing with i don't have any good way of dealing with wraiths so my way of currently dealing with them is to just straight up just Kind of not. Just kind of throw a fireball down and hope that they run into it. Apparently it works. Apparently it works really, really well. Why is this working so well? <laughs> this should not work as easily as this is. That should not work that easily. In my opinion, that should not work anywhere nearly that easy. But it does, so you know what? Whatever. Alright, so yes, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kind of sit here while I wait out this Blood Moon because really, I don't want to deal with it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'll, uh... I'll go ahead, bring you guys back once the Blood Moon is over. That way I can go ahead and, uh, get my wings set up. So, uh, I will be right back. Alright, well, I died, so I guess I'm back over here now. Which, uh, is not what I wanted to do, or where I wanted to be. But I just figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys back, so if I can just pop in here real quick. Alright, so if we put the wings there, so 
So it is just 100 pixie dust and 20 souls of play, which is exactly what we have. We just need the mithril. We need the mithril anvil. We have to do mining. We have to do mining. Oh boy. I'm not ready to do any mining yet. I, I'm, I don't. And that's more of just because I, I really just don't feel like doing the mining. It's not that I can't, I, I just don't want to. It takes so long. Oh, and there's a wandering eye. Guess we're going underground. Bye, guys. Have fun up here. Oh, wait. There we go. Whee! Just throw down a bunch of extra torches real quick. Alright. Well, since we have to do mining anyways, let's just go ahead and start it. Uh, let's just do some mining, have it go terribly, and go from there. Alright, so let's start. What is this? Is this just a... Yeah, that's just a thing. Oh well. He's gone now. And we've got some skeletons right off the bat. I love to see it. So I don't hate skeletons. The pain. All of them are painful. And we got a giant worm. That's also painful. Why are so many enemies in this game just painful? You know what? Let's, let's go die to another painful enemy here in the desert. It's also a worm type enemy that is deadly specifically to player. Player in this scenario is me. So I guess that really doesn't take much to be deadly to me, so I don't really uh, say much for the enemy. Jump right in this little tidy hole. Yeah, get out of there. Ooh, okay. Apparently, this is all enough of the biome to give us a nice good old souls of life. I will take it. I will not complain about getting this souls of life. Because I guess. I know that we could also make, uh, I think it's the angel wings if we have enough souls of light alongside enough uh, feathers. And I know that I've got plenty of feathers. I should have plenty of feathers to do that. I shouldn't say I know that I do. Yeah. Ah, God dang. <laughs> that was just bad on my part. That was entirely my fault. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, I am not ready to do this mining. At this point, I am just kind of doing free padded time by not doing anything while also recording. Oh, I guess that was actually a soul of night instead of... Oh, nice. We now have a drunken ale tosser. Or a demonic ale tosser. So if we just... Do we actually... Oh, we have to actually have ale to do that. Interesting. Okay, well, that's, that's another thing to just throw in storage and forget that I have. As I do with most of the stuff that I don't fully care about. Which is uh, probably a lot more stuff than what it should be. Or a lot more stuff than what it, yeah. Whatever the English there is. I also don't need that. I probably. You know what? You can take the ropes. I don't use them. Um. All right. So if we need. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have to mine for a mithril anvil, though. It's just a pain to do so. Oh boy. All right. Well. Oh yep. We got another red hat. That's like red hat number three. You'd almost think it's some kind of sign to wear a red hat, but instead, I uh, say no. Still not gonna. Alright, but we can also take... Put this right in here. You know what? Let's, let's go see if we can kill the wall flesh again. Why? Because I want the magic emblem. I think the arcane emblem. I think that's a thing that he can draw. But we're also going to be stupid because, uh, I don't think I have these in the piggy bank. Oh, no, I do. I do have it in the piggy bank. 
I guess I will use some potions. I don't really have any health potions, though. Oh well. Who needs health potions? We're just gonna blaze through this fight. Chances are I will die. In fact, there's like a 99% chance that I'm gonna die because of me just doing it wrong. But, oh no! 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 No, why is it gonna be a- Why? Why did that strike have to come through here? Oh, that's so- Oh. So annoying. Immediately past, why did you have to use regular stone or whatever it's called? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh. That is not what I wanted to see. I did not, like, just seeing that as the red and being a crimson biome is so stupid. Like, that's such a small area. Why? Why was that? Like, 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 it's, it's such a small area. Such a small little area. Oh, because right above it is crimson. Gross. Gross. Well, sh in fact, there goes that plan. Oh, well. Guess we're not doing that either. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see. So, if we actually take our feathers here. And you know what? Uh, buggy statue, you can go right, right here. And is our guide alive? No, he is not. Alright, we need the guide. Also, why are none of them respawning in? <laughs> They've got plenty of space to respawn in at. They've got... Literally, they've got... Oh, wait, there's the guide. The guide has come back. Hello, Mr. Guide. So, we need 20 souls of light or 20 souls of night. And we can make either demon wings or angel wings. Or I can still go with the pixie wings. Hmm. I mean, both require the mithril anvil, so it really doesn't matter which one I go with. It's more of which type of wing do I want. Do I want to look like a pixie? Do I want to look like uh, I have demon wings? Or do I want to look like I have angel wings? In the end, it really doesn't matter which one you pick. All three of them, I think, have just about the same flight levels. I think Angel and Demon have a bit better of a flight level. I think. I could very easily be wrong about that, so don't put me on it. And if you want to know for sure, you can just Google it. Ooh, Cobalt! Cobalt! I found some Cobalt! Oh, no. I can't mine it. I can't mine it. My mining level is too low. Oh, no. 70% is too low. No, no, and that's uh, 59. Do we? Did we ever? We didn't make the hellstone pickaxe, did we? No, no, we did not. Um, in that case, yes, plenty of hellstone there. Only nine. That's not enough obsidian. I'm pretty sure that that's not anywhere near close to enough obsidian. Which, I mean, that's also not enough hellstone, so there's that, too. Alright, go ahead, give me the wood there. Am I right in thinking that? Right, I can't make any... Yeah, I can't make any hellstone stuff. Alright, well, shoot. I guess we gotta go cheekily get some obsidian from our nice little uh, liquid farm over here. It is, by power, the most pretty liquid de farm design you'll ever see. It's so simple. Alright, there we go. That should be plenty of obsidian, I think. I think that that's plenty of obsidian. I'm not go too concerned about that being water co covered because uh, it's this hard to fix it. Like, literally, I can just go here. We'll just fill this with water up to there. That way it's got water there. 
Then we literally just do the same with the lava. Well, not quite the same. We do it slightly differently. Or at least I do, because anytime I hold it, it just doesn't do anything. So I usually just back and forth, back and forth. And that usually works out exactly how I want it to. Alright, so now, now we should have enough obsidian to actually get enough to make the pickaxe. At least, at least the pickaxe. I guess I didn't even think about making the hellstone armor. Which I don't think would really change my armor rating at all. Yeah, in fact, it's better for melee anyway, so that doesn't matter. And I didn't pay attention. Yeah, 100%. Alright. So we can unstar that and restar that one. And then we can uh, go ahead and quickly empty our inventory. Some of it we can literally just sell. Like uh, the glowing mushrooms and the glowing mushroom seeds. I could sell those instead of storing them, but I'm going to store them anyways because I can. And you can't tell me otherwise. I mean, you can tell me otherwise, but I just simply ignore it. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and head back up now. Where is the list? Perfect. So we should be able to mine that cobalt now if I uh, ever get back to it. Chances are I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. Let get some ores. There we go. There we go. Because I don't. The main reason I won't get back to that cobalt is because I don't remember where it was. Okay, actually, that's a lie. Looks like I remembered exactly where it was. Hey, look, cobalt, mithril, and adamantite. All three right at that same biome. Alright, so let's head back down. I guess I could probably pop over to this crimson biome on our left and break some of the, the, uh, the demon altars over there to go ahead and get some more, uh, more ore spawns. Wait, and this cannot break the mithril, correct? Correct. But it can, should be able to, I think, be able to break the coal here. If I'm wrong, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about this. And also, get out of here, cave bat that's not attacking me. Yes, good, we can get the cobalt this way. And I believe that the cobalt needs just the regular health forge like what we've got. So that should be fine. We'll find out when I get back up there though. We really don't need a whole large amount of the cobalt. We basically just need enough to get the pickaxe. So I think we need I think it's what was it like 10 wizard wizard uh like 10 to 5 i think it's 15 ingots worth of the cobalt which is not terribly hard to get Ooh, ice rod 36 magic damage you know what i'll take it i can't buy it i can buy the crystal ball though so that's helpful and have that torch and we don't have anywhere nearly enough to make the ice rod. To buy the ice rod. Oh well. Uh, you know what? We're literally in a biome that I can get a bunch of basically free stuff in. Hey, no, jellyfish, no. No, you are a very aggressive jellyfish, by the way. So, very aggressive jellyfish. Oh no. Nope, nope, not that enemy. No. Oh, it's beneath me. That's even worse. Oh, that's even worse that it's below me. Wait, can it not shoot me? Can it not shoot me because it's currently hiding in blocks like that? Good if that's the case. Although. I don't have enough money to do what I want there, so let's head back up and check to see if I'm right in thinking that we- Yes. Yes, we can make the cobalt bars here. It is three per. 
Uh, so before I do that real quick, guide, am I right? Is it seven? Is it, no, not seven, 15. Is it 15 for the pick? It is 15 for the pick or for the drill, both of which have the 110%, but there's not a good enough reason for me to go with the drill. So we're gonna have to go, I'm going to go with the regular pickaxe, which can mine both mithril and or or Orchilium, or Calium, whatever. But we have Mithril, so we don't have to worry about the Orchilium. Or Calium, whatever. But, for now, we're just gonna have to do some more mining, try to get more Cobalt, and uh, I'll probably do just do that off camera. So, for now, bye bye Have a good one.